lovers and welcome back to the Luke Ponto channel I'm here to bring you guys another video and today you guys it's the end of the month so you know what it's blu-ray haul time and check this stack out guys oh man look at that stack um so yeah i got a lot of blu-rays here to go through um but if you guys are new here today and you guys love seeing physical media content and movie reviews and all that great stuff, hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell right next to it. Hit that thumbs up and also share this video. Y'all know the drill. And guys, without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the first couple, um, we got a Hellraiser 2 pack that has Hellraiser and Helldown Hellraiser 2. And then I also have this 4 pack that has Bloodline Inferno, Hellseeker, and Hellworld. Um... Um, Hellraiser, my favorite horror film of all time. I love the first Hellraiser. Um, Helldown, Hellraiser 2, not as good, but still a lot, a lot of fun. Um, as for these little odd guys here, um, I like Bloodline. I love Inferno. Inferno is actually my favorite sequel. Uh, Hellseeker, I really enjoy, and Hellworld, I'm not a big fan of at all. But yeah, I'm a Hellraiser fanatic, if you can't tell, so had to get these. And then we got... The Silent Night, Deadly Night collection here um, that has three, four, and five. I love this little Vestron video slipcover here. Um, looks pretty cool. Um, I've only seen three and four, and I hated both of those movies. So it kind of makes me nervous to watch five, but I heard five was a lot better. So I bought it, but I mean, I still haven't watched it yet. All right, Allied. Um... Robert Zemeckis movie with Brad Pitt, Marion Cotillard. I don't remember much about it. It was only four bucks at Goodwill. So I was like, you know what? I'll get it. To kind of play into uh, what's coming up on the channel, Scream 4 or Scraforum. This is the last Scream movie I needed on Blu-ray. So I could have the entire Scream franchise. Um, this will be coming in a, in a few weeks. Because um, on February 4th, save the date, February 4th, we are doing a watch along for Scream 3, so keep your eyes peeled. Downsizing. I think this is an underrated comedy here with Matt Damon, where um, it's basically like where people shrink themselves to avoid overpopulation, like or basically they shrink themselves to live large in life or some, or some ways. It's either one of those two concepts, like connect the two together, you, you have this movie. But really good comedy. I really enjoy that one. Knocked Up, awesome comedy. This is, this is one of my favorite comedies of all time. I love Knocked Up. Something I just watched for the first time not too long ago, and shout out to Movies and Train Studios for recommending me this movie, bro. This, I loved it. Summer of 84. Um, Now, hold on a second. This disc actually may look fake. This is actually a burn on demand release, but... The disc actually still works. It, it actually plays really well. I mean, the quality is good and the audio is great. So, yeah, it works fine. So, if you guys um want to get this on Blu-ray, I mean, I would still, I mean, I would still recommend buying the Vinegar Syndrome release, but I would say get this one because um, it actually works really well. Summer of '84. This is a really, really good horror film from 2018. Remember right? Yes, I think it was 2018. Um, I'm not going to tell you much about it because, because, and also don't look up the twist. Cause if you look up the twist of this movie, you're probably going to hate it, but trust me, trust me, please check this movie out. It's awesome. What's the most rubber lost in a coin toss? No country for old men. My second favorite Coen brothers movie. A lot of people said this would be their favorite. I look back at more at a serious man more than I do no country for old men, but this is still a great Coen Brothers movie, and, has, and I love the ending. I do. And guys, it's shocking to believe that this it took me this long to own this film on Blu-ray, because this is my favorite movie of all time, Train Spotting. I finally own this movie on Blu-ray. I love this movie. This is my favorite movie of all time, and I did do a review of this a couple of years ago. Um, it was kind of back when I was starting YouTube. Um, I did this to commemorate for Ewan McGregor's birthday, and I do adore this movie. If you guys have not seen it, what is wrong with you? Check it out. All right, now some steel books here. We got The Last Witch Hunter. This is a this is the Blu-ray steel book. Um, 
This and these next two steelbooks I got at Walmart. Um, they had those in the bargain bin. So I was like, but I picked up a few of them. So here is the, um, I'll take the discs out really quick. There it is. Nice little inside look at the steelbook. And I do kind of like this movie. I don't think it's amazing by any means, but I do like it. I got Kin. This is the, this is not the 4K steelbook. This is just the Blu-ray um, steelbook of Kin. Um, I have not seen this movie, but I love the look of the steelbook. So I was like, I'll get it. I want to, I want to give it a chance. And I love the, I love the look of the inside of the steelbook. Um, so yeah, I have not seen this movie, so I am planning on giving it a chance. But this one, when I saw this steelbook, I was like, I'm taking it. American Assassin with Dylan O'Brien and, and uh, Michael Keaton. I love this steelbook. Um, and it is a matte finish steelbook, but it's a really, really nice looking steelbook. It's really nice. And here's the inside of the steelbook. And I do think American Assassin is a pretty good movie. It's not like an action classic by any means, but it is pretty good. And speaking of American movies, we have American Carnage, which I actually just watched um, last month at the time of recording. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was actually a pretty good movie. Um, it's basically like the, uh, the governor of this town um, basically confirms an order to arrest the kids of undocumented immigrants. And the only way they can have the charges dropped is if they provide care to the elderly. And unbeknownst to, and unbeknownst to the kids, um, they start experiencing some weird things. So it's a really interesting movie. Check it out. Then we got Black Adam. Um, I did like this movie for what it was. I mean, it wasn't a classic but it was a good DCEU movie. And um, I did put my ticket inside this. I, just, I did see it as opening night. My, I did like it. It was pretty good. Probably the most overhated movie of 2022, if not one of the most underrated. That's going to Amsterdam. This movie, I really had a good time with. I love the mystery aspect of this movie. And... A lot of people cannot separate art from the artist because of David O. Russell and what, and like some pretty unforgivable things. But I, I, I can separate my, my enjoyment of this movie from the actual artist behind it. I did really enjoy it. And the cast itself, man, the cast, like, it has an incredible cast. You have Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, John David Washington, Chris Rock, Anya Taylor Joy. Zoe Saldana, Mike Myers, Michael Shannon, Timothy Oliphant, Andrea Riseborough, Taylor Swift, Matthias Schornertz, um, Alessandro Novola, Rami Malek, and Robert De Niro. Stacked cast. And I was kind of honestly expecting to hate this movie because of all the bad reviews that it was getting. But I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I would say give it a, sh give it a shot. Bros, one of my favorite comedies of last year. I loved this movie. This is actually... At first, I didn't really have any interest in seeing it because I was like, oh, it's a gay comedy. I've seen that before. But this was like the first like big studio to actually make a movie centered around two gay men. And it's a really funny, sweet movie. So yeah, if you guys have not seen it, I definitely recommend it. Uh, this is a big Oscar contender of, of the year. Um, the Banshees of Inna Sharon. I did watch this when it hit HBO Max, and I absolutely loved it. Martin McDonough is four for four in his filmography. Um, if you guys did not watch this, um, if you, and you guys want to prepare for the Oscar season, watch this movie. This movie is incredible. Oh, Oscar snub right here for best actor, best supporting actress, and best original screenplay. If I can ever say so myself, that's the menu. This movie was so clever like i did not expect to enjoy this movie on the level that i did um i loved uh ray fines in this movie as the chef he was so intimidating and it, and it made me so like invested in the film anya taylor joy and nicholas holt were also fantastic in this movie even john leguizamo who was not in the film very much he was great but yeah, man, Mark Mylod's direction and uh, who wrote the screenplay for this? Uh, Seth Rice and 
Will Tracy wrote the screenplay for this, and they did a great job. This is, like, amongst, like, the best, like, writing in a film like this, like, all, like for the whole year. I loved The Menu. If you guys did not see it, it's on HBO Max. Check it out. It's awesome. And lastly, it's the only 4K that I got. Um, this is a Kino Lorber 4K, and it's one of my favorite action movies of the 70s. That is the Charles Bronson Death Wish. God... This is an awesome revenge movie with Charles Bronson to where um, you have these thugs that um, break into his apartment and um, assault his daughter and murder his wife. So he goes out for a path of revenge. It's an awesome movie. And definitely watch this Definitely watch this version. Don't watch the remake. Um, and I'm going to show you guys something because you may see that this is the slipcover right here. But I actually switched out the cover for this because it has reversible artwork. So I did switch out the uh, front cover for this. So, yeah. If you guys have not seen this movie, check it out. It's awesome. That's it. That is everything I picked up in the month of January. Um, slow down a little bit. Um, I'm trying to, at least, because I don't have, like, the, mo like, the most room left. But I will um, still be collecting more physical media throughout the year. But if you guys are still um, wanting to keep up with physical media content, let me know all that down in the comments below. And let me know what you guys did pick up this month. Um, and also, hit that subscribe button once again. Hit that notification bell. Hit that thumbs up and share this video. Y'all know what to do. But guys, y'all are the best. Thank you so much for continuing your support of this channel. And look forward to more videos hitting the channel very, very soon. Um, I will be reviewing um, Knock at the Cabin next weekend if I do uh, intention uh, eventually go see it. Um, there's other movies I do want to go see, uh, like Cocaine Bear, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Creed 3, Super Mario Bros, a lot of stuff, so, thank you all so much for watching, if you guys want to see more content from me, make sure you subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>